my background is also specializing in complex PTSD. I mean, just to kind of, if, if you don't know me and my background, that's really what I specialize in. I work a whole lot with folks with dissociative presentations. And, um, and so when we're working with dissociation, there's a reason why someone has disconnected from their felt sense. It protected them. It was a very smart choice. And so if we're working slowly towards reintegrating felt sense, we, that titration model is really essential. And it might just be, you know, very, very small, slow with lots of orientation to safety along the way. I would say like, just, just in terms of key principles, the, that one of the pieces that, um, <clears throat> that feels very essential for me is that the, the, the foundation of somatic therapies actually isn't in the interventions that we're doing for somebody else. The foundation of effective somatic therapies is, starts with us. It's the presence that we're bringing into the room. It's, it's attending to our own soma and, and knowing our own history and how that lives in our own bodies. That's why you know when, when I'm teaching somatics, we can learn about it, but if we're not in some way or another embodying it, it, it only takes us and eventually our clients so far. Yeah. Um, the contraindication, set part two of your question, you know, who's, who's not? Um, I actually don't think that there's anyone that's, that, that doesn't benefit from somatic therapies, um, but what I would say is that we get to modulate how much of of that we're directly bringing in as interventions. I wanna say that you do not need to come in with any somatic background at all. Um, this is going to be um, very much a, a you know, I, I can meet you where you are. And I think that's the nice thing about being in, a, in person and with a group where if, if people are coming in and you already have somatic training, then we'll go deeper. And if people are coming in that say, I've never done anything somatically, what, you know, what are these terminologies that you're using? What's titration? What's felt sense? Then we start right there. But the experience of being together, moving together, breathing together, you know, I've, I've been teaching all along via Zoom, which has been beautiful. And I'm so grateful we've, grateful we've had this opportunity, but there's something very different about breathing together and moving together in a, in a room um, that allows us to really be with the felt sense in a whole nother way. And um, it's, it's very moving and uh, literally moving and very meaningful.